Most political analysts believe that uh, this comment today is not a comment in isolation. That it is in fact an indication that uh, Dr. Manmohan Singh is being seen as a candidate for the Congress in 2014, not Rahul Gandhi. Rashid Kidwai of The Telegraph joins us from Bhopal. Vinod Mehta of The Outlook, Hartosh Singh Bal, political editor, Open Magazine. Mr. Raja Gopal, senior journalist. Uh, my first question is to Ajay Bose. Uh, Ajay, I believe your view is that by making this statement, the Congress has lost whatever chances it had in 2014. Why do you think so? Well, you know, this flip-flop has gone too far. You know, just not so long ago, they projected Rahul Gandhi as the new face and he's going to lead the campaign and he's going to be the new prime minister. India will get a new prime minister, a youthful prime minister. And suddenly now you're backtracking. You can't confuse, you know, you're confusing the Congress worker also, let alone the people of the country. So I think that, you know, this sort of confused and mixed signals will, you know, demoralize a party which is already it has his back to the wall and is going to find it very, very tough in getting a third term. And let it, I mean, forget about a third term. Even if it wants to get a decent number of seats, they're not sure about projecting its only leader now, Rahul Gandhi, as the next prime minister. Why are they waiting for so long? Vinod Mehta. How do you read it? Janardhan Divedi is not, doesn't just talk of the present. He talks of the future. He said this fantastic relationship in, in some and substance should be the ideal model for the future also. In other words, he's discounting the possibility of anyone else. Chidambaram, anyone else, anyone uh, no. in, else within the Congress emerging yeah. as a candidate. Arnab, I, I don't think we should overinterpret Janardhan Divedi's statement today. The genesis of that statement lies in the remarks that were made by Mr. Digvijay Singh a couple of days ago in which he declared this whole dual policy of Sonia Gandhi and Prime Minister as a failure. Now the Congress could not allow that statement to remain on the table. No, no. If you have that statement on the table, you are negating nine years of Congress uh, rule in the country and the relationship between Sonia Gandhi. Yes. There is also, when Mr. Digvijay Singh says that uh, it's a failure, Ms. Mrs. Sonia Gandhi has to take much of the responsibility of that if it is a failure. And so, in order to rebut and snub Mr. Digvijay Singh, they have made this statement. No, it could be. And it could not be. further ahead to give no, no, it Mr. credibility. No, no, Mr. Vinod Mehta, it could not be. credibility to Mr. say Mr. that Mr. it could Mr. be for 2014. No, 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 I'll tell you why, Mr. Mehta, that could not be the case. It is not only, it is not only neutralizing Digvijay Singh's statement. Because if it was neutralizing Digvijay Singh's statement alone, let me come to you, Hartosh, then they would not talk, talk about the future. Janardhan Divedi is a person who in the Congress party chooses his words most carefully. He is saying that, and I, and I quote, the relationship which exists between the Congress President and Prime Minister today is unique and something which has never been seen before. And perhaps this should be the ideal model for the future also. Why would he talk about the future, Hartosh? Arnab, I think you are right. It cannot be restricted only to Digvijay Singh's statement. But where Rahul Gandhi is concerned and what Rahul Gandhi will do in the future, this party has always been confused and divided. And if I have to choose between what Mr. Digvijay Singh predicts and what the mainstream of the party predicts, I would go with Digvijay Singh. He seems to know Rahul Gandhi's mind better than the rest of the party. So this ambiguity is in continuation with the past where Rahul Gandhi is concerned and it's doing no favours to the Congress because on one side we are getting indications that Rahul should be assuming the role and on the other side we are getting indications that maybe Manmohan should continue. If the party is going to approach the elections with this strange position, they are not going to make things good for themselves. They are already in a bad shape. No, but they are certainly in a bad shape. But what was the need for this comment? Mr. Rajagopal, what do you think? This is, they have considered the defeat or not. They are not going to win in these elections. Suppose if the winning was there, it will be Dr. Manmohan Singh. 
therefore they are projecting a camouflage now they are ensuring themselves for a major defeat nothing is moving in delhi today cabinet meeting was not even attended by one fifth of the cabinet mem ministers members of parliament do not attend the debates there are so much of nac national advisory council and pmo are having a totally different views altogether therefore the the, the system has suffered a major paralysis and setback I, I, you as you know very well we are moving in this sort of tutor era but i don't think no, that I'm the government is going to have a complete its full term you it's, see it, nothing is moving in delhi no you I'm you always present a very, very pessimistic trembling. picture the, of the government mr rajagopal why don't you give them some credit let me take you on today Every day, Mr. Raja Gopal, you present this gloom and doom scenario for the UPA, and unfortunately, Mr. Raja Gopal, because of your, you know, the fantastic manner with which you put your presentation forth, you don't often get challenged. But let me put it to you differently. No, 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 no. It's no, not no, like let someone let you change it. In, in, you, in the Krishi Bhavan, Udyog Bhavan, I, I don't know, Rail Bhavan, okay. That's okay. That's Sastri Bhavan, Shyam Sakti Bhavan. No, where the sir, I am not talking about. I am only talking about race course Bhavan. Sanctioned by the officers. I am only talking about no, race course Bhavan. What about race course Bhavan? There, there is a complete disconnect between Madam Sonia Gandhi and uh, Dr. Manmohan Singh. Oh Mr. please! Zikwe, no, no, if that, no, 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 no Manmohan Singh is extremely important and crucial for uh, Congress and Rahul Gandhi's future. There is no two views about it and Sonia Gandhi knows it very well. Look, they have to, to blunt this dynasty charge, they have to put forward, they have to say that look, we gave chance to Dr. Manmohan Singh who was a very learned man who, was, who had no personal scandal against him and he did against all odds, he did a reasonably good job. So they have to showcase and as the incumbent Prime Minister it is his chance to be Prime Minister because look, Rahul Gandhi is not in hurry. He doesn't want to become Prime Minister. He, he wants to be political leader. He wants to own political legacy of Sonia Gandhi and of uh, Nehru Gandhi family of Congress party. And Manmohan Singh is not vying for that role. So there is no role reversal. It is a relationship that, that, that based on mutual no, so Rashid, respect. And Rashid, I think it's, it's, Rashid, it's you wrote a book successful. on the Congress and party. Congress is no, no. How long will we also? wait for Rahul Gandhi? How long will we wait for Rahul No, but after this statement today. How long will we wait? Why do you ask? Why do you ask I mean, that? Why no. is Rahul Gandhi taking so it long? For, it is for Congress Party. It is for voters to decide. If voters are that that situation was known in 2009 also election, and yet people gave Congress much a better mandate. No, no, but but uh, if no. they knew they know that Banbhu no, so is not a why is Rahul Gandhi being so shy? No, but is Rahul Gandhi uh, interested? No, no, no what's Rahul Vinod Mehta. If Rahul See, Gandhi at, at was 42, he is not in hurry. He doesn't want to be. Some, uh, Michael Hazeltine or Adnab. someone like that, you know, who, just, uh, who had a lot of promise and... And you want Adnab. to impose nine, 80 years old Dr. Manmohan Singh on the system. He's not uh, accepted. Uh, Adnab. No, it seems a very real possibility, Adnab. Mr. Rajagopal. Manmohan Singh's term is coming to an end on uh, June 23rd. And he, he has completed 20 it? years in parliament. As a prime Adnab. minister, nine Can years. Can I come in? Oh, still you want him to be thrust on the people? Adnab. Mr. Rajagopal, Vinod Mehta. Adnab. Adnab. Vinod Mehta. One, we shouldn't think that the Congress party is completely bonkers, that they are a party of lunatics. Mr. Dr. Manmohan Singh will be 81 years old by the time the next election is. By the time the five years are over, he will be 86. I don't think that whatever is happening, I think to assume that from here that this is a projection of Dr. Manmohan Singh for the third term, I think it's completely erroneous. No, but uh, I no, think Vinod what Mehta, they are trying to do... Vinod Mehta, wh why do you rule out the possibility I, that the Prime Minister may be, may be aspiring for a third term? The Prime Minister, the Prime Minister no, does not... No, but the Prime Minister's... Adnab, the Prime Minister's aspirations mean nothing. The Prime uh, Minister has no base, no constituency. He's well, that's nobody. what people said in 2009. Unless the party wants him, he can't stand. <clears throat> but you can imagine that if Ajoy is right, the Congress is not bonkers. If they project Mr. Dr. Manmohan Singh, they are finished. So, 
I can tell you that this is some kind of verbal ploy going on, some kind of infighting at the very top of the in, in the Congress. But I will bet my I will bet my last house, and I will bet editor that Dr. Manmohan Singh will not be projected for the third term of of, of the Congress. Well, don't do that. Uh, don't 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 do that. Don't bet editor. And for those who don't know the lingo that Vinod Mehta has oh, no. just reached, uh, editor is uh, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Vinod Mehta's extremely famous uh, pet don't dog. Don't be cruel on the dog. Uh, don't be yeah. Don't 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 and don't not, put. And don't he doesn't put your, want to be prime minister. He doesn't want to be prime minister. Yeah. Don't don't wager. Don't wager the wonderful uh, the your wonderful pet. The question here is not this. You see, Hartosh. But I think you how I think, confident I am. I don't like to I don't like to square off with people with much <laughs> yeah. more experience than me, like Vinod Mehta. But unfortunately, Hartosh, today I I find it difficult to agree with in Vinod Mehta's analysis because why would Janardan Devedi? come out and say this is a perfect model for the future if rahul Ga effectively it is ruling out rahul gandhi as prime minister if this is the perfect model for the future arnab if you look at the situation today while the congress may not promote manmohan singh they will never rule out manmohan singh the most likely scenario in which the Congress comes back to power is a tricky alliance situation. Rahul Gandhi has neither the inclination nor the political skills to handle such a job. If we are ever in that situation, you will again be looking at somebody like Manmohan Singh. This is a hypothetical situation, but a situation in which Rahul Gandhi can be Prime Minister where there's a comfortable majority does not even seem like a remote possibility at the moment for the Congress. So they have to keep their options open with Manmohan Singh. No, but why would Manmohan Nei, Singh... Arnab, Congress is projecting. Where are the allies? Is the DMK projecting Dr. Manmohan Singh? Is the NCP projecting Dr. Manmohan Singh? Is Trinamool Congress projecting Manmohan Singh? Only Congress is projecting. In the, in the backdrop of Mr. Chidambaram... No, I don't Sushil understand Kumar, this logic. The names have cropped up. That's Rashid how new name has come up in, in the name of Dr. Manmohan Singh. I don't see where the allies come in here, frankly. Rashid also disagrees. Rashid? No, no, in, in a sense, total I am talking about. We are not talking about Only the allies. Congress is projecting. Well, the Congress party is certainly projecting, you admit. Rashid Kidwai. No, no, but it is for Congress parliamentary party to decide its prime ministerial candidate. It's not for DMK or NCP to decide oh, please, that. Please, come on, Rashid. Don't give that's a technical line, Rashid. That's a technical line. The, the, you know, that's the political line. Oh, don't give me the Congress working committee line, Rashid. Give me the Rashid Kidwai line. What is going on? You've written a book on the Congress party. Everyone is asking today, why on earth has the Congress party's head of media department, a man who chooses his words extremely carefully, called Janardhan Devedi, come out and said, Rashid, that this is a wonderful model. It's a unique model. It, is, it has never been seen before. And it is the ideal model for the future also. Why would he say that? Arnab, this is... Arnab, this is something that Congress is extremely proud of. This is their plank. But they want not to go to people and say that, look, no. we have... No, 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 no. They are not talking of the past, no. Rashid. They are talking of the future. They are telling the people of India that the, in yes. the future, in the future, the Manmohan Singh Sonia model is a fantastic model of governance for the people of this country. They are talking of the future, Rashid. But votes, Rahul Gandhi will fetch votes for Congress party. Sonia Gandhi will fetch votes for Congress party. Yeah, it yeah. Will not be Dr. Manmohan Singh. Yeah, but Dr. what has Manmohan the country been debating, Rashid? The, the country's authority but they won't rule. functioning of no, no, no. Minister. Ma he let's get Ajay. Political leadership of Congress. No, no, Ajay Bose. Ajay Bose. The country has been debating Rahul Gandhi, aspect. right? Ra country has been debating whether Rahul Gandhi will be will will perennially remain in the back. Uh, you know, be a backroom player. It looks like that, Arunab. It looks like that. With Janardhan Trivedi's uh, interpretation, Rahul Gandhi will not be the prime ministerial candidate. It is explicitly said today. That Arnav. is what they are saying. It is repeatedly saying. Arnav, can I jump in here? Yeah, Ajay. Arnav, can I jump Nobody in here? That. Yeah, can, can, I, can I just say that Sonia Gandhi did not become prime minister because she said she heard an inner voice which did not want her to become prime minister. What is this inner voice? That is preventing Rahul Gandhi in projecting himself as the new Prime Minister. I thought that this period of Manmohan Singh's rule was basically keeping the seat warm for Rahul Gandhi. 
But now it seems that this is a permanent situation. That Rahul Gandhi also has an inner voice which says that he will not rule. He will only get votes for the Congress. It is poison. But he it will is not poison, rule. he says. No, no. So I mean, this is, is ridiculous. Poison, he says. And you're confusing the Congress worker. You're confusing the Congress worker who is waiting for Rahul Gandhi to take over. No, but what happens to you people can... Yes, Mr. Mehta. Arnab. Yes, Mr. Mehta. Arnab, you should not assume from all that is going out now that Janardhan Devedi's statement rules out Rahul Gandhi. I mean, do we understand the Congress party? I mean, it, this is a statement that is made about 12 months before the elections and therefore this is the kind of usual jostling that goes on and if the Congress feels, and at the moment they tend to feel, Rahul Gandhi is definitely the front runner. The, don't, don't kid yourself on that. He is the front runner. And your question, which is very good question, is why would Janardhan Devedi praise the model that was created by Sonia Gandhi in 2004? He has to praise it because this chap has knocked it. Dick Vijay Singh has knocked it publicly. And therefore, if Dick Vijay Singh knocks it publicly, he's, he's, you're rejecting nine years of Congress rule and the relationship between Prime Minister and Sonia Gandhi. No, no, but Vinod Mehta, Mr. Mehta, Mr. Mr. Mehta, Mr. Mehta, Dick Vijay Singh knocked it publicly many, many days back, almost 10 days back. After that, the Prime Minister was asked, when he was coming back from the BRICS summit, he said that, will you accept a nomination for a third term? And he said, we will cross the bridge when we get there. So the Prime Minister himself has settled the issue. There is no, there is no need. My my point but of debate with with with. But the, with, Adnab, that's tactically with, very smart. That's what, what? tactically very smart to keep the enemy guessing. It's tactically very smart to say there are all these people. You think I so? I mean, it's tactic. This is you, also you, to you keep think the so? enemy guessing. No, no. You think so? I thought the entire Chintan Shivir was about projecting a new look infused, youthful and resurgent Congress party. Do you think these tactics will come at the cost of enthusing the Congress party cadre who would be worried at the possibility of Narendra Modi having the opposite effect on BJP workers? You know, Hartosh, after all, you know, Man projecting Manmohan yeah. Singh was not the theme of the Chintan Shivir which happened in Jaipur. Then the mood was something else. Sure. Why? Absolutely. Yeah. And I, I think what we are looking at is uh, Rahul Gandhi's failure to stand up and lead means eventually we are looking at again the UP kind of model where Rahul will be seen as the figurehead of the campaign but nobody will be sure whether he has the ability or the inclination to take over the reins in case his party does well. And that is actually political suicide and the Congress is headed that way. In any case, this statement, whatever the tactics and strategy behind the statement, what the Congress is promising us after the elections is not even a diarchy but a triarchy. Now you will have Sonia Gandhi, Rahul Gandhi and Manmohan Singh. Two was bad enough and they are giving us a third power centre and they hope that the public will think this is an ideal arrangement. I, it's a very foolish statement from that point of view. No, see, Rahul Gandhi himself did I say. Absolutely I absolutely agree. I absolutely agree. With this, the Congress cadre is totally confused, Mr. Aranab. That is why I got at least seven, eight telephone calls from Chennai. Why suddenly they are projecting Mr. And, um, Dr. Manmohan Singh instead of Rahul Gandhi? The, it has sent a wrong signal to the Congress cadre. That is what uh, um, Ajay said. He is absolutely correct. But do you think and that if we take the, if we grant Vinod's point that, if, that, that, that indeed they didn't mean to do so, I think it's a you know it's terrible uh, uh, you know work by a spokesperson. He could have rebutted. Dick Vijay is saying, by saying that that's his personal opinion, it doesn't matter. But why go out of your way and hold, it, hold this up as a model and give the suggestion that this will be, this is likely to be followed in the future? No, why I, do you want to confuse your audience? And he is the chief spokesman of the ASCC. He would not have spoken without the permission of the Sonia Gandhi, who is now in abroad for, for a treatment. She would, uh, he would not have spoken without her permission. So what does it mean in totality? Rahul Gandhi is not in the picture. He has been a failure. They are understanding that indirectly. Mr. Mr. Now Mehta, they are Dr. Manmohan Singh. That is the crux. Mr. Mehta, you, Mr. Mehta, you, you Arnab. wagered, you wagered too early into this debate, Mr. Mehta, and you wagered too much. No, no, I, I strongly I, I, suggest I, I, that I, you take I, your I bet maintain, back. I maintain, 
No, no, I'm not taking it back, Arnab. I maintain what I have said, <laughs> that you, this statement reflects the infighting okay, one minute. among the officials in the Congress. It, it also reflects the fact that Janardhan Devedi may have walked the extra mile in saying this relationship could go further. But I don't, you have to believe that the Congress is a party of lunatics. If they are going to project Dr. Man, if they are going to go into 2014 and saying this is our prime ministerial candidate and the relationship that was there in 2009 continues, I think they are not as No, Mr. 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 Mehta, Mr. Mehta, there are three things that we have to look at. You know, by the way, Digvijay Singh has spoken again and I'm just getting the sound bite, I'm getting the tape into my newsroom. I'll play it, just give me a few seconds. I'll play it now. Actually, Digvijay Singh has spoken again, I think. Let's hear what he says now on this. Digvijay Singh, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, is firmly of the view that Rahul Gandhi should be Prime Minister. He said it more than once. मुझे इस बात की खुशी है कि माननीय राहुल गांधी जी सीआईए की जनरल मीटिंग में जाएंगे और अपने विचार व्यक्त करेंगे। well, he, that's pretty brief actually. I think we have a longer comment on, on he's being extremely diplomatic, which is unlike uh, Dick Vijay Singh. The point here is, three things have happened, gentlemen. Firstly, on the 5th of March, if you remember, Ajoy, Rahul Gandhi himself said and was quoted as saying, the Prime Minister's post is not my priority. I believe in long-term politics. Right? Then on the 29th of March, these are really... Uh, then Manmohan Singh, when asked about Prime Ministership, does not rule out the issue. And then today, the Congress media spokesperson, clearly on authority of Sonia Gandhi, comes and says, the relationship between the Prime Minister and Manmohan Singh uh, and Sonia Gandhi is a fantastic relationship, is the ideal model for the future. Now, any person, any observer, will put two and two together and say, this indicates that Rahul Gandhi does not want to be a front-end player. Absolutely. I mean, you're sending a signal out, clearly. We can't, you know, I mean, there, you know, there are three things, you know, which have happened one after the other, and there is no question. It does suggest that they're having second thoughts of whether Rahul Gandhi should be projected as a prime ministerial candidate in the coming elections, because probably the Congress is not confident. They always try to protect Rahul Gandhi very wrongly, because a leader is a leader, whether in loss or defeat, it does not matter. But, you know, they have been constantly trying to hide Rahul Gandhi from the realities of Indian politics. And, and if I may add to that, on top of having made this comment tomorrow, Hartosh and Rashid, let me get both. If after having said this is a fantastic model for the future, tomorrow you change this. Then you will be questioned that do you keep changing your point of view on the effectiveness of the dual power center model. We believe in it one day and then you don't believe in it in the other day. Hartosh, what do you think? Well, look, I don't see how this uh, recent statement can be interpreted in any manner which would suggest that the Congress is thinking clearly. Uh, the problem here is the only point I would disagree with is the reluctance is not the Congress's. This reluctance stems from Rahul. The Congress is in no position to decide what Rahul does or doesn't do. Only Rahul decides this. He is unclear. It sends a message to the entire party. The entire party is unclear. The confusion in the Congress stems from the confusion within Rahul and his inability to clearly state where he stands and what he wants to do. Now, here's the comment. Actually, I haven't got the full Digvijay Singh comment on tape. What he has told our reporter Nandisa Sunecha is the following. He says, what I said is for all to see. Rashid Kidwe interpreted this for me. What I said is for all to see. When he said this model of Sonia Manmohan does not work. But if party has taken an official line, I stand by it. I never said that Rahul doesn't want to work for organizational strengthening. Now he's given it another twist. My so Rashid... What do you see that? What, what do you? What, what yeah, is what, it's very what is the signal? I've been saying from beginning. Yes. Yeah. Signal is that you see, Congress needs both Dr. Manmohan Singh and Rahul Gandhi. It is not Manmohan or Rahul. It is Manmohan Singh and Rahul Gandhi. Depending upon the kind of mandate they no. get. Remember in Gurdwara, Rakab going that war room, Congress party war room, war room. There is every day they assess mood of the nation. 
and they know you know how people of india are thinking it's it's, it's a subjective uh, uh, interpretation of of, of of a country's politics so therefore uh, congress is very clever congress is is, is telling voters look we have experience no, I... we have hope and party congress uh, congress rank and file have no doubt about it about political leadership of no, rahul gandhi i asked this and question about caliber and the executive position of dr manmohan singh i, I asked this people question to some people in government today and uh, that why did the prime minister say this you know when he said this on the plane and they said that the prime minister does not make any off the cuff remark he's a careful <laughs> man yes so when he was oh, asked no. do you can want I would you accept the third can term can i just come in there yeah, yeah, so no no so he kept it deliberately can open ended can i come in there why he yeah. said that yeah can i come in there so, why Mr. he Mehta said Olis. what he said prime minister yeah he said that because there were many people who were throwing their hat in the ring Mr Chidambaram was very much uh, a player was and there were a lot of suggestions that Mr Chidambaram would be the leader of the Congress party would be the prime minister so what they were trying to do is to suggest the fact that this thing is still open no where is Mr Chidambaram thrown his hat in the ring he has never done Adlab, so and you ask yourself one question you ask yourself one question if rahul was ruling himself out from the top job would he do it as early as now or he'd wait for later Well, he when the whole country is asking. He would do it now. He would do it now, not later. There's one year left. The internal what uh, Rashid said. One uh, year Arnab, left. I, let me come in here. What Arunab said. Arunab, give me one minute. What Rashid Kidwa said about war room. I know what is happening inside war room. They have projected they will not cross 85 seats in the in country. That is why they are projecting Mr. Dr. Manmohan Singh. Mr Raja Gopal they have done an analysis Mr Raja Gopal you have to say that Mr Raja Gopal it is now today let me remind you today is the 2nd of April 2013 and let me remind you that in the studio where you are 6 months back you said elections in 2013 Santosh remembers that any political leader said where are the elections Mohan Singh Yadav said Mayawati said Jayalalitha said Mamta Banerjee said You said elections in 2013, sir. You said elections in 2013. You have got you've got seven more months to go. It is in November. It is in November 2013. November, India is going for Lok Sabha <laughs> polls Anyone because of the inefficiency of the government. Okay. I am telling you because I have been given a projection by the senior leaders of Congress Party. That is why I am reflecting. I am on record. I cannot say what who told me this. Well, Mr. Raja Gopal, you never hesitate to stick your neck out. Let's see what happens whether Rahul Gandhi sticks his neck out for the Prime Minister's uh, candidacy. As of now, it appears the Congress seems to be moving in a status quo is direction. So, is Manmohan Singh the candidate or is he a decoy candidate? We'll follow the story, gentlemen. Thank you for joining me this Tuesday evening on the News Hour tonight. Thank you.